Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a, another Q&A video. So this video is in celebration of me reaching 1,000 subscribers. I cannot believe that I have reached over a thousand subscribers on my channel. It feels like yesterday when I just started my channel and I had I think 15 subscribers to start out with and I was like no one's ever gonna watch me and apparently you guys do so thank you so much for all of you that watch me thank you for all who comment and like my videos and who have subscribed to me thank you for coming along on my nursing journey with me and I really appreciate it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the Q&A's they are all on my phone I took to my Instagram to ask you guys if you had any questions for me so if you don't follow me on my Instagram all my social media links are down below so that way if I do another Q&A in the future you guys can check it out so the first question is from Nurse Bass he said if you weren't pursuing nursing as a profession what would you be pursuing so this is a really great question because of course nursing wasn't something that I just jumped right into without considering other options for careers so some things that I had considered before actually doing nursing was first was actually going to med school like doing pre-med and then going into med school but basically I decided not to do that because I liked the bedside nursing I liked being with my patients the other things I considered were um, actually two things one going into music because I have played violin and viola and piano since elementary school and so I considered going into music or I actually considered going into music therapy so I actually have a brother who is autistic and he did music therapy for many years and so I thought oh I can combine my music and you know working with special needs kids or just people in general and do music therapy but I didn't decide to do either of those and so nursing was what I ended up with obviously the next question is from call me cray and it says when you start to doubt yourself what do you do to build your self-confidence I'm terrified for nursing school but want it more than anything I think it's so so normal to feel terrified for anything in life especially nursing school but it's one of those things that if you really really want it then you're gonna do everything you can to make sure that you succeed in it. So one of the things that I've said over and over and over in my videos is fake it till you make it. I think I need to make a video titled fake it till you make it so every time I say that I can like link it so people can go and watch it. But fake it till you make it. If you don't feel very confident, that's okay. Nursing is probably very new to you. Going into patients rooms is probably very new to you. Just fake it till you make it. And what I mean by this is just embrace the maybe the little confidence that you have and fake that you're confident because if you go into a room and you act confident your patients are going to feel better about you taking care of them than if you walk in and you kind of seem shy or scared and the confidence will come with time you'll get more comfortable doing certain things also i say fake it till you make it but i also come with this disclaimer don't fake it till you make it on something that you don't know. You gotta be safe. If you don't know how to put in an IV, don't fake it till you make it because that's just gonna harm your patients. So fake it till you make it, but be safe. The next question is from D Word, Ward, D Ward, sorry, 79. And it asks, do you have a lot of homework in nursing school? And yes, there's really no other answer than yes, you will have homework, you will have studying, you'll have care plans, you'll have clinicals. It's just a lot, it's just a lot of work. The next question is from Jessica Haley Barnett and she says, as a military spouse, how do you anticipate PCSing and finding new nursing jobs to be in the future wherever you end up moving to next? So for those of you who are not military, PCS is a fancy word for moving. And for those of you who don't know, my husband is in the military and so I am a military wife and the military can move around a lot. Fortunately for me, my husband is going to be stationed in the same place for the next two years at least, and then after that two years, his contract is over. We haven't really decided if we're going to renew his contract yet or not, but right now we're leaning more towards coming back home to Arizona after he finishes his contract. And so I haven't really thought about what I'm going to do as far as if I have to move to another state and find a nursing job there. I think what I would do is in the military you would know when you would be moving and so I would try to plan ahead and apply to hospitals, try to get interviews, maybe do phone interviews or video interviews so that way I have a better chance at having a job lined up before I got to the other state. That's kind of what I've done now since my school is in Arizona and my husband is in Washington stationed up there. I have been applying to jobs and calling jobs up there and when I went and visited I actually 
had an interview and so I just have been really proactive about applying to things and staying on top of it and trying to set up jobs before I actually get there and so I think that if we were to move around a lot because of my husband's job then I would be doing the same thing. Okay guys, so that's all the questions that I have for this Q&A video. Again, thank you for subscribing to my channel and I'm so excited that I have reached over a thousand subscribers. So I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.